I'm looking forward to an interesting season. Literally and figuratively. It's like Man you fans do not learn. Every season, oh, we are, we are going to try on Arsenal. We are going to be ahead of Arsenal. And they keep on failing. They keep on failing. Now, to be fair to them, right? Oh, let's pause. Guys, let's do the next full. Please strike a like on the video. Very important. Uh, subscribe yes, subscribe. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell. Very important. Strike the like button. Turn on your notification bell. And make sure you are duly subscribed. Now, go back to mind you. Now, Joro is a decent signing. Young prospect. You could turn out to be a top class player, world class player in a few years. But he's still a prospect. Possibility to be a top class player, world class player. Is there. I'm not going to be a salty fan, uh, sorry, rival that engages in, in, in the state's tribalism. I'm not going to go that low, right? But you cannot be comparing your role to Arsenal defensive personnel, Saliba, Gip. He is not of that ilk, at least not yet. You see, I, I'm being very, very, very magnanimous in this. At least not yet. Even though there's a possibility you will never, you may never get close to a Gabriel or a Saliba, a Tomiyasu, a Timba, a Calofiori. Look at what the names I've listed. Now, this guy, young prospect, will turn out to be a, a fantastic signing in the long run. But to start overhyping him and comparing him to season, experience, players that are playing for Arsenal, is just farcical. And you don't learn, Muki. You don't learn. Last season, a lot of the Man U big accounts were predicting that Arsenal would not even make top four. But that Man U make top four ahead of Arsenal. What are you drinking? What are you smoking? Now, you make two, two, two decent signings. Decent. I just my words carefully. Two decent signings in Zegzi. Or Zegzi, whatever you want to pronounce that. And Euro. And you think you've atoned for the sins of the past. You've cleared up the deck. Or oh, I'm able to say that things have changed at Man U. Not so fast. How has things changed? So compared to when Glazers were just transfers, you are still paying 15 million euros as compensations to agents. How has things changed? That was what we were doing before. You are still overpaying for a youngster with one year left on, on his deal. That was what you were doing before. The Glazers bought Marshall. Remember, he's a young a youngster. The Glazers bought Hoyle. So this significant change. Man, you fans and fans are claiming is a myth and is a fact. It is not true. Based on the evidence at ground, you are still doing the same thing. You know that you change personnel. You are still doing the same thing. You are still overpaying agents, overpaying wages, and overpaying transfer fee. Now, we now have to wait. Why well, these signings will make significant difference to you, what you've done in the past or not? We are going to wait for that. But stop telling us. You've progressed. Things have changed. But when the evidence before us, empirical evidence before us, suggests that things have remained basically the same. Basically the same. No, nothing has changed significantly. Maybe a little bit of change, but nothing significant for us to say, okay, wow, things have changed. Yeah, you made your signings early. You signed a young star, right? Fair. Well, let's see whether the two relatively young stars can make a significant difference to your team and can prepare your team forward. So, my fans, you need, to, you need to learn from your mistake of the past and to make sure you do not jump the gun because a lot of you are getting overly excited and jumping the gun, comparing yourself to us now at this moment. You, 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 the audacity for me to compare yourself to us now at this moment is just, it's low IQ. I'm not saying you should not enjoy the euphoria of signing two good players. Good players are being my, 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 my choice of words. But the audacity that suddenly you caught up with Arsenal, you are going to win the league. Do you mean the championship or do you mean the Premier League? Like you're going to win, win what? Win what? It's too damn early. The facts don't suggest that I'm going to even make top four right now until let's see what you do. For the rest of the window, the kind of quality of midfielders you bring in, and probably uh, other attacking areas, probably a more experienced defender to uh, help you complement or supplement the young star you just bought. So, my fans, karma, karma. I understand your ambition. I understand you have to catch up with Arsenal as quick as possible, but there's still a long way to go. Trust me. Arsenal just, Arsenal had the meanest defense last season, right? And Timber played just two, two games. The first game that he got injured with the ACL, and the last game. 
So technically, as I just added two two defenders in Timba and Califuri, who is about to sign from Bologna. And we had the minutes defense with these two, without these two players. And you are talking about catching up. Men, wake up and smell the coffee. I understand football is tribalistic. You need to support your team, but support your team within reason, within the logic and the objectivity of what you can see and be rational and reasonable. No, what, 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 see, let, let's just stop it. Let's not forget we see how there are another liability on our national. Yes, he improved at the tail end of the season. With was the performance was much better, but on Nana is your Nana. A leopard never changes his spot. A leopard is a leopard. Then he had a few good performances at the tail end of last season. Let's see how many memes, how many comic moments will Nana provide us with? How many entertainment clips will Nana provide us with this coming season? Because we know Nana will do what Nana does for free. We are going to enjoy Nana. It's part of the package of the English Premiership. Footballing entertainment, gaffs entertainment, comical entertainment, memes. We are going to see Onana entertain us this season. He is still their number one goalkeeper. So let's see. Mm? My fans, you better learn from experience and guard your tongue. Don't get overly excited. I'm not saying you should not enjoy the euphoria of signing new players. But at the same time, you have to you know, put those things in perspective. Simmer down as you are progressing, other things are progressing. So let's see how much catching up you need to do. You're signing two good players. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm here about uh, delayed coming to, to mind you. Some of you are doing overly gas about delete. It's within your rights as a man you found to be gas, but if you look at it objectively, if the was that good, the Bayern is selling in, he struggled at Bayern, he, he, the German Bundesliga is not as pacey or aggressive or physical as the English championship and he struggles there, and you think he's going to make it in England. It's not impossible, but if you, look, if you, if you use the evidence and the traits and, uh, and look at it logically, it's highly unlikely. Like I said, it's not impossible, but it's highly unlikely. But let's see. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe guys could be right. We'll find out. If the late finally signs for Manchester United, I don't trust the signing. It looks more of a celebrity signing. It's the late. It's a known name. But if you look at what he has done, he hasn't been fantastic. So I could be wrong. But my fans try to calm down. I'm not getting at you guys. I'm just saying this overly, this, this over excitement being shown. That you've caught up with us now, you're going to win the league. Man, stop it. Stop it. Nah. You have to show your work. Go we'll punish you. Exactly. You, you have to. Like, nah, you can't do it at this moment. No, some of you might disagree with me. Let me know why you think you can win the league. I want the man you found to disagree and tell me why they think they can win the league or they will try on Arsenal on the league table this coming season. Give me the evidence to it. What 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 what's prompting your optimism of, of that of that that kind of I call insane optimism? What is prompting it? Let me know in the comment section. And if you don't feel too offended, don't forget on your way out to, to like the video, very important. Uh, make sure you subscribe, yet you're, you're, you're subscribe. And lastly, make sure you turn on your notification bell, like the video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, very important. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>